all packed up and ready to go. <coughs> Left my room, oh well. Last look around, because it's very nice here. It's been a very pleasant stay. Peaceful, quiet, this nice sort of veranda area to sit out on, which, uh, which is great for the evenings and the mornings. And nice, friendly, help, super friendly staff, helpful staff. But, gotta go. It's time to leave Cambodia and head to Bangkok, the big city of Asia. Everybody has heard and knows about Bangkok. So let's spend our next five days there and see what it's really like. Ooh, interesting echo. Okay, now I'm gonna pay my bill. Not really, but I have to pay really, don't I? <laughs> Can I pay next time? Yes, okay. Can I pay when I come back next year? No! <laughs> so I better pay. Well, I'll give me the bill and I'll work out. And then you go now? Or? Yes. Yeah. Maybe I've got that bill. Yes, I'm ready now. See you next time. Thank you. Short ride, 25 minutes from Siem Reap Centre to the airport. And here I am, about to leave Cambodia. It's been great though, hasn't it? Haven't we had fun? And here we are, checking board. Let's see when my flight is. Where am I going? Bangkok I'm going to. Kind of worrying I can't see my flight up there. Until one at three. Oh, there it is. AK541. I was just looking in the wrong place. Found it now. So, uh, they are on check in three. So, let's go and find check in three. Things I really hate about airports: checking in and queues. And over there, Asia, one check-in desk, five flights. I know it's a small airport, but the queue is ridiculous. I got here early, and I actually queued out of the airport door. Oh well. I hope I left enough time. I've got two hours. I just don't want to spend the whole two hours sitting in a check-in queue. I'd rather go and get a coffee. I don't want to get through customs. After waiting for over an hour in the queue to finally get to the front to check in, there was a complication. Nothing's ever straightforward, is it? Now it's a bit complicated, but I originally bought a ticket from Siemri to Hanoi and it went via Bangkok. And I bought it with AirAsia. Is uh, you know one in one ticket, and it's and I think I had three hours between the flights. No problem. About a week before I left on this trip, so maybe only about two weeks ago now, they sent me an email saying that the schedule from Siem Reap had been changed. It was now going to be two hours later, which meant that I, when I got to Bangkok, assuming there was no delays, I would have one hour or less. To transfer flight, which may or may not happen. Um, so I rejigged my trip a bit, and I was going to. Um, then I decided, well, what I'll do, I'll stay a few days in Bangkok instead, because I'm going to miss that connection, um, or wait something like eight hours for the next flight in the airport. I didn't fancy that. So I thought, well, I'll stay a few days in Bangkok, then go on to Vietnam. So I didn't cancel the ticket because they don't make it very easy to cancel or change. And when you're traveling on the road, you don't have good internet access and all the information they want, it gets complicated. So all I did was then buy a new ticket from Bangkok to Hanoi six days later. Yep. Um, 
then I then I then proceeded to buy my leaving ticket from Vietnam because as a UK passport holder I can stay 15 days or 14 nights in Vietnam uh, and get a visa on arrival or VOA or sort of visa waiver is what it really is or visa exemption but it then, then means I have to leave within 15 days so I then calculated my 15 days after my six days in Bangkok and then uh, bought my ticket from leaving Ho Chi Minh at that point. Now when I came to check in, they wanted to see my leaving ticket from Vietnam. Bear in mind I'm in Cambodia and they wouldn't check me in because it wasn't within 15 days of me arriving as far as they were concerned in Vietnam because I hadn't cancelled the original ticket, even though I had a new ticket. And they said, no, we're responsible, you can't, you know, you've got to fly through, you mustn't, if you... And I said, what happens if I miss the flight? You know, because there's not enough time now. And they go, well, we'll just put you on the next one. So I have to wait eight hours in the airport. Pretty much, yes. So, hmm, the uh, guy who was checking me in said, well, no, I, I, I'm not supposed to let you on now. So I had a valid air ticket. They just wouldn't let me on because According to them, I'd be arriving in Vietnam early and I just wasn't, you know, what, basically what I was going to do is go to Bangkok on that ticket and not make my connection. Stay in Thailand for six days and use the other flight that I'd already got out of Bangkok um, to then be within my 15 days. They weren't happy with that. So they said, wait till my supervisor comes and we'll see if there's a way around it. And that will be in another hour. Okay, so it's time to go and get some coffee, have some water, and chill a little bit to see what happens. Back to you in a little while. on the ticket and flight saga. When I went back, after my coffee and wandering around and wondering what to do, uh, shift change, new people, my ticket was already printed out, uh, went up to the counter, just handed my passport and I said, oh, I think they're my tickets. And the lady picked them up and go, well, what's the problem? And I said, uh, I think there's a problem possibly with my connection. No, don't worry, she says. If you miss the flight, they'll just pick on the next flight. Here's your ticket, thank you very much, have a good flight. So I took them and I ran. And I'm still on the wrong side. So now I'm gonna go through passport control, get to my check-in gate before they make me stay. So hope I don't get in trouble in Thailand. Let's go. And we are through through passport control, through security, and now just in a nice, quiet, comfortable waiting area. It's a lot more peaceful through here. My gate is just over there, but it's all busy with like people waiting, you know, for check-in. So I just find a nice, quiet area, sit down here, chill for a little while. And I've actually got, turning around and wobbling you, quite a nice view outside. Not a great deal going on. Seam Reap is quite a nice, quiet airport, but yeah. It's nice to be able to see the outside from the airport, watch the planes coming and going. So, I'll get back to you at check-in time.